Well, good morning. It's Saturday, 1st September. Wow. Summer's gone. Summer's gone. Hebrews 11. I mean, not Hebrews. 1 Corinthians 11. Verse 1. Be followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Paul speaking. Any man of God, any preacher, pastor in a local church today can say the same thing. Be followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. People say, don't ever follow a man. Yeah, you follow a man that's following Christ. Get you in a good church. People don't go to church today. Bunch of self-proclaimed prophets and think you can do it on your own and you don't need church and this and that. No, you need to get in a local church. If you're, if you're a pastor, the church will elect you to be the pastor, lead others. You can lead someone, lead a Sunday school class. Lead a wife, lead a child, lead someone. Be followers of me, even as I swim of Christ. God's people need to lead the way and lead someone else. If, if you're a pastor, it's the church. If you're a husband, it's the family, and so on and so forth. Follow others as they follow Christ. If they don't follow Christ, run from them. Now, I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances I deliver them unto you. They listen to the Bible and they're paying attention. They weren't so they were not all that hot in, in the church at Corneth. But I would have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. Here you, here you go to order of uh, command. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh oh, don't like that, you women livers, do you? And the head of Christ is God, the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, man, woman. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. For that is even all one, as if you were shorn. For if the woman be not covered, let her be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to be covered his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. Okay, you got God the Father, Jesus Christ, man. But the woman is the glory of the man, then woman. For a man is not of the woman, but woman of the man. This is the Bible, 1 Corinthians 11. Neither was a man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought a woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is man without the woman, neither woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of God. Judge ye yourselves. Is it commonly that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Man's supposed to have short hair, that's what the Bible says, has to do with submission. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither in the churches of God. So here you have the order in the church. The Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, man, woman. Uh, than the children. And so let's get decently in order. Find a church where you have a man of God to lead, or if you are a man of God, lead. Don't be a follower of some deacon board. Lead. If God's had you lead a church, lead it. Find yourself a church where there's a man of God. Be followers of me, even as all some are followers of Christ. That's what I have to do in this church. We're going to have church tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock uh, in the evening, and we invite you to come if you don't have a church home. 501 Ridgewood Avenue, Holly Hill, Florida. You need a church home. Find a, find a man of God that leads a church and be part of that church and be under the subjection of that church. God bless you, y'all. Have a good day. Amen.